Australia is just so big, and a lot of it is land that is still considered the wild. What's out there in the outback and coasts of the land down under? Keep watching to find out. 19 Uncommon Animals You'll Find in Australia 19. The True Tree Hugger Nobody loves trees more than the koala. This little guy will latch onto a tree like there's no tomorrow, and they wouldn't have it any other way. We will talk about all the big scary animals you'll find in Australia, but we're starting off our list with one of the most adorable. The koala at most will weigh 33 pounds. They're lazy animals, sleeping as much as 20 hours a day. Native to Australia, this arboreal or herbivorous marsupial is the closest living relative to wombats. 18. The Morelia spilata The carpet python, which scientists refer to as the Morelia spilata, can be found inhabiting a few places in the South Pacific, most notably in Australia. This species of python is considered quite large, growing to an astounding 13.1 feet or 4 meters in length at the most. You might find them on the ground or even high up in the trees as they're semi-arboreal. Careful treading around at night, however, as these nocturnal creatures could really be lurking anywhere. Like a lot of huge snakes, they eat certain things like birds and lizards, but they'll eat larger mammals as well. 17. The Spotted Hairy Tail Living amongst its den and roaming the wild at night, the quoll eats mostly smaller animals such as lizards, birds, and frogs, and on occasion some fruit. The largest species of quoll, however, may dine on animals as big as possums and bigger reptiles. These carnivorous marsupials can be found in different parts of Australia, though most of its bigger population exists in large part on the country's west coast. The quoll's genus name, Desiurus, translates from Greek to mean hairy tail. While its body measures to about 29.5 5 inches or 75 meters at the longest, their tails give them an extra 13.8 inches or 35 centimeters. 16. Not an ostrich You'd be kind of close, though. It's the second largest bird in the world after its relative the ostrich, but it's a whole different creature of its own. The emu lives endemically to Australia, the range found throughout most of the mainland. Flightless yet enormous, the emu stands at a height of 6.2 feet or 1.9 meters at the biggest and run as fast as 31 miles per hour or 50 kilometers per hour. When it comes to taking care of the eggs after breeding season, the males are the ones that do all the incubating and will even lose lots of weight doing so since during this time they hardly eat or drink any water. 15. The Mythical Goanna Although not all goannas are huge, this monitor lizard from Australia is known to grow to an impressive size. Goannas at the biggest can be 8.2 feet or 2.5 meters long, though smaller species may measure to the size of an adult human's arm, which is still kind of huge for a lizard. To eat, they depend on both scavenging and predatory methods in order to suffice their diet for the day. Oftentimes, they will eat smaller prey so that they can swallow it whole. It's not clear where the name goanna comes from, though some experts believe that it was the European settlers that named them as a derivative of iguana. 14. The Echidna, a spiny anteater If you remember from Greek mythology, Echidna was a half-snake, half-woman, though if you see the animals that took this namesake, you'd wonder why. Echidnas look nothing like humans and snakes put together and instead resemble animals like porcupines or hedgehogs. Some people may refer to the Echidna as the spiny anteater. However, they are not even closely related to true anteaters and are probably called this due to their diet that consists of ants and termites. They may be mammals, but the Echidna also lays eggs, like the platypus. 13. Like the Looney Tune If your only exposure to Tasmanian devils was through Looney Tunes, then you were probably surprised the first time you actually saw a photo of a real Tasmanian devil. Their faces aren't their whole bodies and they don't twist like tornadoes. They are, however, rather frightening creatures even if they only measure to like 25.7 inches or 653 millimeters in length, not counting their tails which can be as long as 10.2 inches or 258. 8 millimeters. Tasmanian devils can be found all over the island of Tasmania, even in more urban areas. 12. One Fierce Snake Walk carefully in the central east regions of Australia, as that's where the most venomous snake in the world lives. The Inland Taipan, also called the Western Taipan or the Fierce Snake, has the most toxic of any snake's venom. Some live in captivity, though in the wild they are highly protected, just like all other snakes in Australia. You can, however, own an Inland Taipan, but only if you possess the highest venomous class reptile license. Who knew that was even a real thing? Their coloring ranges come from dark to light green or even dark tan and will grow to be about 5.9 feet or 1.8 meters. Though, some can grow as big as 8.2 feet or 2.5 meters. 
11. The Duck Beaver When scientists in Europe were first presented with a platypus, they initially thought it must have been a joke that someone sewed together a duck and a beaver. Turned out to not be the case, and they soon realized that the platypus was a real animal. Once in a while, people referred to this egg-laying mammal as the duck-billed platypus. In New South Wales, the platypus is considered the animal emblem of the state. The dense, brown fur on their bodies help keep them warm and is also waterproof as they are also semi-aquatic animals. 10. The Largest Toad Results are in! The largest toad in the world is the cane toad, an animal native to South and Central America. But wait, isn't this an Australia list? You're right about that! The cane toad was introduced to the lands of Northern Australia and has since thrived. Adults measured between 3.9 to 5.9 inches or 10 to 15 centimeters long, though the biggest specimen of the cane toad came out to be 9.4 inches or 24 centimeters in length. 9. The Stubby Marsupial Wombats aren't bats at all, confusingly enough. Instead, wombats are marsupials, short-legged and quadrupedal. These small animals grow to be up 40 inches or 1 meter in length, are furry all over, and have stubby tails. Their diet is of the herbivorous variety, as they eat mostly herbs, bark, grasses, and roots. That doesn't mean they aren't completely harmless, however, as they do also have incisor teeth that are made to gnaw at tough plants. Wombats can be found in the heartland, mountainous, and forested regions of Australia, as well as Tasmania. 8. The Thorny Devil That's the exact name for this strange lizard found along the deserts of the Australian outback. The lizard, sometimes called the Moloch, has a whole lot of spikes all over its body. Anyone who accidentally steps on this thing better have a really thick shoe. These spikes, or scales, help the Thorny Devil to collect water on its body wherever it can. The water then gets transported through the skin. Depending on the weather, the color of its scales can change from pale to dark when it goes from warm to cold. 7. Another Ant Eater While some may call it the banded or marsupial ant eater, the numbat, like the echidna, isn't really an ant eater per se. They don't even eat ants, although they do feed on termites, about mm, 20,000 a day to be exact. Who needs an exterminator when there's a numbat? The numbat, also like the wombat, is not a bat. Endemic to Western Australia as well as reintroduced to South Australia, the numbat is considered an endangered species and is heavily protected. 6. The Call of the Kookaburra Tree kingfishers known as the kookaburra got its name for the sound of its call, a distinct and really loud sound that many liken to a laugh. While that's slightly frightening to think about, it's what makes the kookaburra the kookaburra. They live in humid forests as well as arid environments. Even though they are called kingfishers, they do not have much to do with water. Unlike lots of birds you probably feed, they're not the type to eat things like seeds and nuts. They eat animals, such as young birds of other species, mice, snakes, and small reptiles. You'll know when an area belongs to a kookaburra because it will let out that strange call to mark its territory. 5. The Wallaby Way Fans of Finding Nemo undoubtedly remember the address in which we followed Nemo to, and of course it would have the name Wallaby Way in it. The wallaby is one of the most popular and well-known animals native to Australia. This type of animal belongs to the same taxonomic family as kangaroos. You may even note how similar they appear. Wallabies are a small species, though the largest can grow to be about 2 meters long. The spring-like design of their tendons give them extremely strong hind legs, while their tails are used to provide support. While they are native to Australia and New Guinea, they have been introduced to other parts of the world. 4. The Black Swan Ballet aside, the black swan is a real bird that was not just made up to contrast the more well-known white swan. Black swans breed in the southern regions of Australia and were introduced to other parts of the world in the 1800s. They might have white flight feathers, but for the most part their plumage is black and at the end of their faces are red bills. A black swan shows its aggression by holding its long neck up high and then spreading its wings out to show their feathers, so stay away from one when you see it acting like this. Despite having no migratory pattern, they do not stay in one place all the time and will travel to other regions in a more nomadic way. 3. Gliding on Sugar What's a cuter name for a small creature like this than Sugar Glider? None will tell you that much. The Sugar Gliders are possums with wing-like membranes that help them glide through the air similar to a flying squirrel. These small animals are native to Australia and were introduced to Tasmania in the 19th century. Sugar Gliders grow to be about 9 to 12 inches or 24 to 30 centimeters long from head to tail. You might have noticed their huge eyes that are pretty big compared to their heads. Those eyes help them see at night as they live nocturnally. Those Big ears also help them detect prey in the dark. To glide, they launch themselves from a tree and spread its limbs so that the gliding membrane catches the air. 2. The Feral Dog 
We've all heard that famous phrase, dingoes ate my baby, in reference to the case that happened back in the 80s. But what else are dingoes really known for? Experts debate the taxonomic status of the dingo, mainly because no one can really figure out if it's genetically closer to a domestic dog or a wolf. Dingoes live in the wild, though they have been known to associate with humans, yet they have not officially been bred to be domesticated. A dingo hunts from behind to surprise their prey. 1. Boxer Fists while stories like Winnie the Pooh make you think that kangaroos are fun, nurturing creatures, the truth of the matter is that you would never want to get close to one, especially one that's ready to fight, nor would you want to get caught between a kangaroo fight. First off, when you really look at these huge marsupials, the largest of the marsupials, they're really jacked, like they spent their whole summer in the gym. Kangaroos come in different sizes and colors depending on the species. The red kangaroo is the largest surviving marsupial in the world. Tell us your favorite uncommon Australian animal in the comments below. Before you leave, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and click click that subscribe button.